Hi. Often people ask me, you know, which books are the best books to read about hypnosis or which books kind of influenced me early on. And uh, today I thought I'd pull three out, which I still thoroughly recommend anyone reads, even though they're pretty old. And uh, perhaps in some people's minds, they've been, you know, usurped by more modern texts. Um, these three are all books about NLP. And uh, I've got dozens and dozens of books on that subject, but I still believe everyone should still have a look at Frogs Into Princes, the original book on NLP by Richard Bandler and John Grinder. The two things that this really kind of did for me, one was convince me that change, therapeutic change, didn't have to take a long time and didn't really have to be painful. Um, this book really just treats you and your brain like something of a kind of machine. I'm not sure if that's the, the, the metaphor analogy that, that you'd like to go with, but that's kind of how it felt when I re read this book. It was like any behavior can be changed if I kind of treat it this way and just have a go at kind of recoding it and running it differently. Um, this is where I first came across parts work. It's where I first came across the phobia cure. Um, one limitation, I guess, compared to the next book that I'm going to show you, uh, which also featured those techniques, is that the delivery of these to the to the client, to the subject, um, on reflection now still seems like quite a conscious process. I'm not suggesting that's what they were trying to get across, but compared to transformations or, or some of their later work, um, it still seems kind of rather conversational at times. But I thoroughly recommend everyone goes and finds a copy of this book, reads it, and just kind of gets, gets on board with the idea that change can be easy. Um, probably my favorite NLP book is Transformations. I believe it's out of print. This is the original Transformations. Um, Richard Bandler produced another book um, 20 odd years later with the same name. But I'm talking about this one, and as far as I'm concerned, this is Bandler and Grinder's book on hypnosis. This book had the handshake induction, um, loads of other kind of things that have become classic motifs in modern hypnosis were outlined very clearly in this book. It's a brilliant book. Um, if we were to take a technique such as the six-step reframe, which was featured in Frogs, it's also featured in Transformations. But what's made much uh, clearer in this book is that if we run that process within a verifiable session of hypnosis, perhaps with idiomotor movement verifying each step of the process, we can perhaps get better results. And um, every now and again, every two or three years, I go back to this book, I read it again and pull out new nuggets of information each time. If you can find a copy and there are secondhand copies out there, I thoroughly recommend you get yourself a copy of Transformations and Read it a few times. This third one is called Magic in Action. Uh, it's written by Richard Bandler. And I think it was a little bit later. Um, 1992, so, so quite a lot later. And I believe I bought this in a charity shop. It sat on my shelf for a number of years, unread. And then I went on holiday, I took it with me and I got into it and it's become one of my most treasured books about NLP. It um, is just case study after case study after case study. And what you realize when you read this book is just how fluid and playful Bandler can be in his application of uh, you know, the, the, the approach that he came up with. That was a real inspiration to me because it's quite easy when you learn a technique, even something powerful like the phobia cure or the six step or any of their other kind of core early techniques for it to become, um, a little dry, it's just kind of led by the process. And this book convinced me actually that the bulk of NLP techniques are really just permission to do it differently and for that differently to become your new automatic response behavior. So yeah, I'm fond of this one, Magic in Action by Richard Bandler. I know there are many more modern books um, and many new spins on these techniques. Some of them um, may have even been discarded and left behind by their founders. I don't know, but check them out.
I'm sure you'll find some value in there. Thanks.